Hello everybody, today I'm going to cover a GarageBand topic that is always coming up. How do I put tracks, like a, like a skippable, skippable section in a CD, into my podcast or, or into my song and stuff? Well, you can do it in a podcast track this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly record something right here in, in GarageBand. I'm going to just simply talk here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a track here, 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 and here. And then now we have some audio. And now we have our podcast track. So first I have this selected because I want to make sure that the audio meters are going and I'm recording something. I know I've recorded something. I can play it back if I want to. But now I'm going to click podcast track. And down below, you might need to actually expand this area. Uh, but what you can do is you can add a marker. So that's what we're going to do. Wherever the red line, the playhead, wherever that is, Make sure podcast track is selected, and then in this area where it says podcast markers, click add a marker. And you'll notice in the timeline up at the top that this showed up around here. And so what you can do is, now we have a marker. It has the time. It has artwork if you want to add artwork. You can have a title. I like to just give it a, a number for right now, and a URL title if you want, but that's beyond what we're going to cover right now. So let's say I listen through and I want to add another marker right here. Well, that's no problem. We just click Add Marker and another one will show up. Okay, so why do we have three? Well, honestly, I don't know, but I can show you what happens. What we happens is we made a marker here, a marker here, and then for some reason another marker shows up here, and that's this third one. I'm going to simply select it, click Backspace, and delete it, and it's deleted from my timeline as well. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I should look that up, but that will be another video another day. Anyway, all I need to do is continue to go through my audio and add chapter markers and once you get rid of that extra one it doesn't happen again so I am not again I don't know what's going on so now we have our chapter markers we have our one two and three okay great so now what well what we need to do is we need to save it in a as a wave file and because a wave file will maintain this track structure basically and so that's what we're gonna do next so what do we do? Well, what we do is we go up to the top of the screen. You can't see it here, but your screen will say GarageBand, File, Edit, Track, Control, Share. We're going to choose Share, and we're going to send the podcast to iTunes. When you send the podcast to iTunes, it's going to ask you what do you want to put, what playlist you want to put this in, artist name, composer name, whatever. Fill this out so you can find it. But the most important thing is you want to make sure that you pick AAC Encoder. Do not pick MP3, AAC encoder, and you can pick whatever you want, spoken podcast, musical podcast, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to keep it as musical, and I'm going to name this Steve1 after my friend Steve. Then I'm going to click share. It's going to create a mix down. It's going to say converting, creating chapters, and then we will have iTunes appear. And if you watch this, the little text display up here, watch when it plays. It will show you when the channel changes. So give it a second. Chapter 3 appears. Now I can test this in on my Mac, on my keyboard. While this is playing, I can click Command Option Control and use the keys to skip to different chapters. And that's how you do it. So if you have any questions, let me know. That's how you make tracks for a WAV file. Now, what if you wanted to burn it to a CD? No problem. You go back to GarageBand, you go to Share, and there's an option that says Burn Song to CD, and it will let you know, in this case, that the chapter markers must at least be seven seconds apart. And then when you click Continue, it will burn onto the disk with the skippable tracks in place. And that's it.